Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, if you're a music fan here in the greater Baton Rouge area, the name Buddy Stewart needs no introduction, as well as the great work of the Buddy Stewart Memorial Music Foundation. They put on great events here in the Baton Rouge area. There's another exciting one coming up. And here to give us a scoop on it is Philippa Stewart. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Niels. I'm, so, I'm glad you're having me. Thank you. Sure thing. I, this town loves a good time and it loves its good tunes and you're combining them both in an exciting event coming up. Tell me about it. Yeah, that's what the Buddy Stu Memorial Music Foundation is all about. Uh, 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 celebrating life, bring, bring it together, community, unity, family, uh, food, fun, live music. That's what we do. That's the main purpose of the foundation is to bring live mu music from our community to the community. Tell me a little bit about how the, the, the foundation came to be and, and the legacy that was left there. The foundation came about uh, 17 years ago. Uh, my, my father passed and he left a legacy of music, particularly not just with his business, but with his friends. And we, we founded the, the foundation on uh, the premise to keep his friends uh, net together, to keep them a place where they can come and network is what it is. And this idea, and the practice is actually working very, very well because we have uh, some com camaraderie with the musicians here in Baton Rouge and we still try to provide a place for them to uh, come out and, and perform and network. And it's just to keep us bonded together is what it is and, and that idea has worked very very well and one particular way to do that is through Rocktoberfest and Rocktoberfest is a different uh, is comprised of different musicians from different genres uh, uh, gospel jazz blues R&B and even the children are involved in that because we have our, our intermission performances with the children, little dance groups and musical groups. But it's about getting the community together. And the community has been very receptive to Rocktoberfest and they're, they're looking forward to the, this 15th annual because uh, it's, it was so successful last year. There's still a buzz, and we just want everybody to come out and, and see what we do over at the Buddy Stewart Music Foundation. I mean, you touched on it briefly. It's more than just keeping these musicians tight and, and together. It's about bringing everybody in, bringing the whole town together to celebrate really this great musical tradition that exists here in Baton Rouge. Absolutely. There's always lots of exciting music. I know you got a great lineup this year. Tell we me got a great about lineup. That. We have a, a uh, world acclaimed musicians from our community. One of our, our primary performers, and he's performed every year, is Mr. Henry Gray. Mr. Henry Gray is a fantastic, he's a wonderful musician. A he's a very, very kind person. Uh, he is now 89 years old and he plays as if he's 19 and he gets excited about the festival and the, the, the community who didn't know him, they're now asking questions. Who is that and where does he come from? He comes from here, he comes from our community. Uh, the, the, the Jazz Foundation of America this year will be uh, sponsoring Mr. Harvey Knox. Mr. Harvey Knox is a former member of the Buddy Stewart Top Notches Band from the 1960s. So these guys have some legacy and some, some history in our community and we want the community to know what we're all about, so that they can be proud of from in our community. And this is really a chance for people to get out and see some world-class entertainment in, in both of those genres of music, as well as more. Correct. And, and I mean, this is something that, tell me what it's like for this to start kind of, you know, from humble beginnings to just really be 15 years later, this great big event that it is. It, it really, it does humble you because as we go along each year, uh, we we're, we don't have to be in search of. They now come to us to participate and that would make, makes it so exciting. That would t That's what tells us we have to continue this tradition. And we're getting younger people to come in this year. We're going to feature a new uh, Southern Soul artist. He, they call him Pokey. And he is a, a, a phenomenon in the community right now. He, he performed for us last year and by request he's coming back again. So we have different from an 89 year old to different generations of performers there for Oktoberfest. There's something for everyone. Tell mm -hmm. the folks where they can go to find out more information. Mm -hmm. All, you, you, you can find out more information. You can give me a call at the Buddy Stewart Music Foundation, which is area code 225-383-9661, or you can stop by 1712 North Acadian Thruway West. The festival takes place in the entire 1700 block of North Acadian West, so you can't forget it. Fantastic. You can't, you can't miss it. That's going to be Saturday, October 25th. We're going to start at 11 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Thanks so much for coming on. Tell us all about Thank it. You. Can't Thank wait you. till Rocktoberfest. I appreciate you having me. Well, they're out there right now helping members of the Baton Rouge community cope with HIV and AIDS. It's the Volunteers of America. Take a look, everyone. At Volunteers of America, I'm a medical case manager. I work with individuals diagnosed with HIV and AIDS. My goal is to link individuals to care and help them remain into medical care. Anyone is at risk for contracting HIV and AIDS. It does not discriminate. It does not matter your religion, 
race, age, gender, or ethnicity. The number one thing that we try to tell individuals is to get educated about HIV and AIDS and get tested. Actually, I was very adamant about getting tested every three to six months. Um, I'd been with someone for a while, and so I stopped practicing safe sex, and that's where I messed up. So I went to a regular checkup with my doctor and didn't expect anything out of the ordinary, but she did tell me that I was HIV positive that day. And when she told me that, it really hit home, and I felt like, why me? Why was I the one that drew the short straw? I'd done everything I could to, you know, keep myself healthy. So it was really hard, and I just felt like life was over at that point. I turned a blind eye to the epidemic of HIV and AIDS in Baton Rouge because, well, not just necessarily Baton Rouge, but even in the country. For me, it did not exist. Uh, the definition of uh, the people who were going to be infected were, did not fit me. Uh, I wasn't gay, I wasn't white, I had never smoked, never drank, never done drugs, not promiscuous. So HIV and AIDS had nothing to do with me. I was a praying woman, I was in church. So why would AIDS have anything to do with me? I was disconnected as is, you know, a whole lot of people because it didn't fit the lifestyle that I was living. So I had no idea it would be a part, it would ever affect me. Volunteers of America supports individuals diagnosed with HIV and AIDS through providing support coordination through medical case management. We help individuals with medical assistance, whether it be medication, transportation to their appointments, housing, applying for benefits such as insurance, Medicaid, Medicare, or disability. When a person first comes to Volunteers of America, they're going to be greeted and welcomed as a person, first and foremost then they don't have to worry about their information being shared with anyone. We keep everything confidential. They don't have to worry about people judging them. They don't have to worry about the stigma. They don't have to worry if somebody knows me because I come to that building because Volunteers of America has an array of services that we provide. It's not just HIV. So when you come to Volunteers of America, no one knows what you're there for. You could be there for any of the other programs that we offer. What inspired me to become a consumer advocate at Volunteers of America is, honestly, I had been doing it by myself. I had friends that came to me and they knew of my status, so they came to me for guidance and help, and I guess to have that person to support them. With Volunteers of America, I saw a chance for me to actually really make a difference. They gave me the tools that I needed to help people get into care. I, they gave me support systems that I can give to other people to help them stay in care. Volunteers of America is an advocate for people living with HIV and AIDS because they have the spirit of inclusion. Um, my being a, a client at Volunteers of America has empowered me in many ways. I've been accepted as not just as a client, but as a professional, as a minister, as a whole complete person. The compassion uh, the empathy, every agency should do what Volunteers of America does, and that is make people feel like they're people and that they matter. When people come to Volunteers of America and they're broken, hurt, lost, need help, I can put myself in their shoes because I've lived through what they're going through at that time. And I'm able to show that even though I have that diagnosis, it does not mean your life has to stop. Volunteers of America Greater Baton Rouge is part of a national faith-based organization and has been serving the Baton Rouge area since 1921. Professional staff of 400 and the help of 1,200 volunteers, we reach and uplift over 20,000 people annually including homeless individuals and families, low-income seniors, abused and neglected children, and adults with disabilities. Since 2000, Volunteers of America has made a special commitment to empowering people living with HIV and AIDS in nine parishes, including Baton Rouge, through care coordination services. We come back on Across Louisiana, find out about Dyslexia Awareness and Learning at Louisiana Key Academy. Don't miss it.